In this video, I'm going to show you how I use the audio move and move value filters to lower the audio of one source triggered by another separate audio source. In this situation, I'm using it to almost deafen the music that I play on stream when I start to talk. I pre-recorded the example, but here I'm showing you how to actually set it up, and then I will show you the result. My first step, other than making sure I have the correct filters, which if we don't, I will help get the link that contains audio move and move value filters later on, is to select the audio source that I want to make quieter when I talk, which in this case is my Spotify audio. So I'm going to go over to my Spotify scene, click on Spotify audio, and then go to filters and add a new filter. The only filter I need right now is gain, which doesn't need anything adjusted to it. And then after that, we can add the move value filter. Once we get to the move value filter, we can change the filter to find the gain filter that we just made. And then we'll select that here again and then change it to negative 30, which is the farthest down it can go. We'll turn off the custom duration and then we just need to do start, trigger, enable, uh, stop, hide. And then we duplicate this source. And the only thing we really need to change is uh, the value once again to just zero zero so this resets it and then that's it now we go over to our audio source that captures our voice which in my case is called main mic it's over here in resources we go to the filters and add a new filter we're going to add a audio move filter within here we're going to change this to filter enable Add the source, which is the spot. <laughs> Look at all my sources. I have so many. I gotta find the Spotify source that's in here. So Spotify audio is the source that we're checking for. Uh, found it. And then we're going to apply the filter, the first one, to move value, and enable over. Change the threshold to 0.1, and then we're gonna duplicate this. And we're only going to need to change two settings after this, and we're practically done. So the filter and the threshold action. Threshold needs to be under instead of over, and filter needs to be the move value 2, because this is the one that resets it back to 0, and we're done. Now we can go back over to the Spotify scene and actually look at the filters, and we can see the filters, the icons moving showing that the actual action is taking place and that now that I'm talking and not talking that things are uh, changing. So, I made a thing. This thing is going to take my voice, recognize it, and lower the audio of the music playing on stream and when I'm done talking, bring the audio back up. So here's the music that we're going to be playing. Now I'm going to shut up really quick and play the music, and that should be its normal volume. And when I start talking, you should hear it lower, and you should be able to hear my voice quite loud compared to the music. Okay, so if this is working, now I should be a lot louder than the music, or at least you should be able to hear me now over the music. I'm not sure how much louder I'm going to be, but I should be louder than the music. And when I'm done talking, it should go back to what it was. And now we're going to install the plugin that has the filters that we need for this which is called Move Transition, and I actually need to update mine because I've been using an old version and I think there's new stuff, so I'm going to go ahead and download it and replace my current files with the new version. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna just go to this site here. I'll have it linked down in the description below, of course. This is the new Move Transition, the latest one. This is the download button right here. We're going to click this and it's going to pop up with all the different downloads that we can uh, get. 
I obviously am doing Windows, so Windows Zip is the one that I'm going to use. There is an installer, but usually I don't do installers. I just actually do the straight up Windows Zip, and then I place the files myself. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So we're going to save the zip wherever it wants to save to, and then I'll use this to just open it right away. And then open it, and I'm going to extract the file out of here. Extract all of it as one folder, open that, and then I'm going to put this over here in the top right corner and open a new window up, put it in the top left so I can put things side by side, it makes it so much easier, and go find where my OBS is installed. And then just move things over. All the folders are labeled the same. I drag control click things so I can keep the original file. I'm going to replace all my files since I do have an older version of it already installed, but this isn't selling the new version. And then I go back, go inside of OBS plugins, 64 bit, both sides, and then drag over both of these and drag control click them in to copy, replace files, close everything out, and I am done.